How can I describe an entire set of data with just one or two numbers? In this lesson, you will learn to describe data by using measures of center and measures of spread. Let's quickly review the five statistics used to describe data. Mean absolute deviation is a measure of how the data varies about the mean. Interquartile range is the difference between Q1 and Q3 and represents the middle 50% of the data. Median is the middle value, range is the difference between the high and low value, and the mean is the value that results from essentially evening out of the data. These five statistics can be separated into two groups, measures of center and measures of spread. Median and mean are both measures of center, while the measures of spread are mean absolute deviation, range, and the IQR. You might also see or hear the word varies when referring to spread. Typically, both a measure of center and a measure of spread are used to describe a set of data. The mean and mean absolute deviation are paired together to describe data sets or those represented by line plots and histograms. The median and interquartile range are often used for data sets or those represented by box plots. I'd like to mention that in higher level statistical analysis, the range is used less frequently in favor of the other measures of spread. A common misunderstanding is that the mean is always the best statistic to use to describe a set of data. Here is a box plot representing my grades in math. Would the mean accurately reflect my math scores? Remember, the mean is not a part of a box plot. However, I have chosen to show you a box plot so that you can see where the mean lies in terms of the rest of the data. We see that the mean of 78.75 falls below the median, which means over 50% of the data is located above the mean. Over half my scores are better than the mean. So to summarize my grade as a 78.75 would be underrepresenting it. Following is some data on five years of aluminum recycling. Why do we use a measure of center and a measure of spread to describe a set of data? Well, let's first look at the data for recycling. We're going to find the mean by adding all the data and dividing the number of values by the number of values. So 209 divided by 5 equals 41.8 which is identified with the squiggly line. Once we have the mean, we can determine how the data varies about the mean by finding the mean absolute deviation, or MAD. First determine how far each value is from the mean. And I'm going to keep a list at the bottom of the page. Please note that I am using the absolute value of those distances. So there's no negatives here. Then you're going to add those distances together and divide by 5, the number of data values. For this data, 34.4 divided by 5, which gives a MAD of 6.88. On average, each data value is 6.88 tons from the mean. Remember, the MAD is a measure of how the data varies about the mean. Now let's take a look at the median and interquartile range. Remember that I will use both a measure of center and a measure of spread because the spread describes how the data varies about the center. I have put the data on a box plot because the median and interquartile range are represented on a box plot. The line in the box indicates the median of 38 for this data. The IQR is found by subtracting Q1 from Q3, or 36.5 from 49, so a value of 12.5, and 50% of the data lies within the range of 12.5 tons about the median. We can see that I can describe the recycling data with two different sets of measures of center and measure of spread. First with the mean of 41.8 tons and a MAD of 6.88 tons, and secondly, with the median of 38 tons and an IQR of 12.5 tons. In this lesson, you have learned how to describe data by using measures of center and measures of spread.